Hi. Uh, okay, since I'm live, Bon. Uh, hi, Ashley. Hello. And welcome to Bucharest. Thank you. I've heard you've been in Cluj. Yes, and news travels fast now, a couple of years ago. <laughs> okay, so how was Cluj and how is Bucharest? Um, look, so I said Cluj felt very, there's an Italian word which says a misura d'uomo, which means made to the measure of man or woman, let's say, yeah, so smaller. Like Intim, very intimate. Yeah, intimate in a way, so. Uh, but Bucharest you haven't seen? Uh, uh, I was here a couple of months ago, so I had a little walk around at night. So again, very, very different. It's got nice... Co cos cosmopolitan. Exactly. It's a capital. You city. think it is? Um, yes. Yes. Oh, thank you. You are kind. <laughs> thank you. So, uh, how was today and uh, what, what were you were talking about? So, I mean, I think great event. Really, lots happening uh, here. So I was uh, talking through um, the trends that we put together. I, I'm, um, I work for Fjord. Uh, Fjord does design and innovation. We're part of the Accenture group in Accenture Interactive. Um, so every year what we do is actually look at how technology is changing our culture, the way that we behave, etc. So we put together a series, as I said, of, of where we're seeing things going. So it's not going into the big future, it's things happening today that we think can grow. So you are thinking more in present than in future? Yes, yeah, so it's, let's say, things that are happening today that we think will grow into yeah. things that are bigger. That's yeah. Cool. And um, it's important uh, design and innovation for a brand? Absolutely, I think, you know, and, and, and design more and more, I believe, is getting recognized for its value. Essentially, you know, we're seeing that the competitive edge that technology by itself can bring, that kind of gap of how long you'll have that edge kind of gets shorter and shorter. So you need to, let's say, add something else to that. And obviously, let's say there's, a, there's been a rise in the importance of uh, customer experience. So what we do is essentially go in and understand how to, you know, design for that company. If we take a think of fashion, what we do is we do like, it's like haute couture. We will design specifically for that and it's not just a pret-a-porter that you, you take and you go off with. Well, yesterday we were talking here about, it was a lot, a lot of stories about storytelling. So the brand needs to have a story. And today you are here and I think it's important to talk about design also for a brand. So do you think that it's important the image, the first image that you see uh, for a brand or the story behind? Both. Yeah, so you always have that initial impression of something which I think can you know, be good or bad. But, you know, when it, it, it's a question that every touch point represents your brand at the end. So if we go back to design, you know, design can mean many things. And often people come in and just see it as, let's say, a refresh of visual elements, which of course is design. But design is more, a, let's say, a, a, a mental framework in which you think. So in the work... Recognizable very fast. Yes, but also to see how you create. So let's say a lot of work that we're doing increasingly is around employee experience. So companies, as they kind of change and reinvent themselves at the front end to respond to changing customer needs, similar, you know, we're not just workers. We, you know, we live in different roles. Yeah, we're employees, we're customers, we're parents, we're children. So similarly, you know, companies are now seeing that they need to change the way they're structured which no longer responds. So there's an element here, again, it's, it's, it's designing uh, strategy at the end a lot of the times. So do you think uh, also strategy, it's, um, it's very important for a brand, but also for a, I don't know, influencer, blogger, storyteller, or whatever? Because um, uh, you were, you were uh, said to me at the first, at the beginning, that you are more in present than the future. You know? It, yeah. It, 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 it? Yes, because as I said, it, imagine it as seeds, really. Yeah? You start seeing that certain things are changing. So today, one of the things I talk about was, uh, one of the trends is called the last straw. Yeah? And the last straw was really how, in this last year or so, there has been a tipping point with regards to how we look towards the environment and the effect. 
You know, it's been there for 20, 30 years. You can go back to hippies in the 60s, but it was something that was, you know, happening on the side or it's NGOs, etc. That tipping point has been, you know, last year was around plastic, for example, and you start seeing videos of Caribbean beaches which are just filled with plastics, you know, fish that get open and there's plastic inside. So that has brought a change in people's perspective, you know, towards that. And I think this year, more and more, we're also seeing effects of climate change and how people's perception is changing based on that. Yeah. What do you think it's next? What do you think it's coming next with all this technology and all this innovation that we have? Oh, what is coming next is a big, big, big question. So, again, I think it, it, it's a moment where uh, someone was mentioning there was the founder of Singularity today. Yeah? And, of course, he was saying how technology moves much faster than regulations, than, you know, be it from companies or be it at a governmental level. Someone so, told us, uh, sorry, someone told us before that uh, maybe Google will be very good to uh, ruin a country to make rules for a country and all this stuff. Would you, I mean, it was like crazy, but I said maybe, I don't know, maybe in 10 or 20 years, we don't know where the fuck we were going to be. Um, as a designer, I believe more in co-creation. So I think that we should not leave this in the hand of a single company <laughs> or anything, yeah? It is something that should involve, yeah. you know, more and more large elements of people. So I think what we also need now, and that's going to come up is, you know, innovation that is not just technological, but how do we innovate, as I said, on the models of society towards work, etc. You know, you're seeing there's AI arriving, that a lot of jobs, it's not just, let's say, blue collar jobs that will be effective. It's white collar, it's everybody. It's myself as a designer, I can have an AI doing mood boards for me. And we, all, we, we, need, we need also a human touch to be there, even if we have No, totally. And I think, you know, to that, uh, there is a need, again, also, let's say, at an educational level, aside from changing education, because schools no longer respond to 21st century, but a lot of attention goes on STEM and on, you know, on the whole science and technology and engineering, which, of course, is totally important. What we need to add to that, which has fallen to the wayside, are elements around philosophy and ethics. And, and, and literature and storytelling, you know, how do we make sense of this world that we're going into? What do you use more, like platform? Do you use uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat? Uh, Twitter and Instagram, mainly. Facebook? I'm passively on Facebook by now a long time. I follow my family and people who are different, so I remain on that for that. But. In, 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 in this year, we think that Facebook, it's so long ago. I think that. It is, yes, but, but again, everything has, has a lifespan. Yeah? And if you look back now to these 20 years of, uh, you know, digitalness, where was, where's MySpace ended up, for example? You know, where's AOL gone? Oh, there were big You're, names that... Yeah. Your space is offline. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. That, that's my space. That's it's your, offline. Yeah. Thank you, Ashley, so much. It Thank was very you. interesting Pleasure. talking to you. Uh, something else instead of storytelling, because yesterday we had so many people here talking about story and storytelling. But I think be, beyond this, it's about also innovation and design. And what do you see first and what is coming? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Go 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 to see the city. We'll do. It's nice. <laughs>